Hi guys, this is Charles and one of the surgeons of Southpaws. Um, on that last case, because we saw the calcification of the biceps tendon and there was pain um, on compression of the biceps tendon, we've decided to scope this shoulder joint. So we've re, re um, draped everything in, set up all the scope instrumentation and stuff. And now I'm palpating the um, acromion here. I'm just gonna put a needle in just distal to the acromion and hopefully it's gonna drop straight into the joint just like that. Um, and then we're going to take another needle. I'm gonna put it into the biceps bursa, but I'm gonna inflate the joint first. So just put some pressure there, John, please. Yeah. Uh, so just inflate, yep. Lots of pressure. Yep. Keep going, lots, lots, lots. Okay, so now we can see that squirting out there. It's a boy. So. Then we put a needle, I mean, put a blade along that needle that's going into the joint there. And then I take my scope. Just take our sheath first with Saline, we can turn that on. Is the pump on? Yes. Okay, and I'll just drop this alongside that needle and hopefully right into the joint just like that. All right, so then I remove the sheath, drop my camera in Attach my light guide. Can we get the surgery lights off, please? Okay. I'm going to attach this onto the top. Lights on. Okay, so now we're looking inside the joint. Make sure that we've got flush on. We should have egress coming out the front. Okay, so that's should be medial glenoid humeral ligament there, and there is some fraying. Let's see if I can see the biceps tendon. So that's all fraying of the medial glenoid humeral ligament right there. This is the humeral head at the bottom down here. So that's all humeral head down there. That's medial joint capsule there. And I'll move my scope up forward and see if we can see the biceps tendon. A little bit harder because I don't have the long, the, the right length scope. There's my needle sitting there. Let's see if I can enlarge the image. There we go. So that's the needle sitting right there. And that's all subscapularis tendon there. And there's the biceps tendon up there. And it really doesn't look too bad. So can you guys see that biceps tendon sitting there? It's actually a better image on the computer screen than it is on the monitor that we have. So everything's reversed on the computer screen. So that's subscapularis tendon there. Again, and that's a little bit frayed, and that's medial glenoid humeral ligament. That's a lot frayed right there. So I have to decide whether I'm going to do anything about it. My tendency is, since that we, we just did that big procedure on the uh, brachial plexus, I'm more worried about that than I am about this medial glenoid humeral ligament instability. My tendency is to say, I'm just gonna manage it conservatively, but let me think about it for a minute. Uh, it's, look, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's not great. It's all subscapularis there. A lot of fibrillation of the humeral head. You can put a towel down yeah, there if you'd like. 
Thanks. Um, hmm, <laughs> what do I do? Making sure that that, yeah, that biceps looks really good. So I'm definitely not going to do anything with that. Just debating whether I'm going to do a, a medial shoulder ligament replacement here. Look, I think I'll leave it for now and see how the dog recovers neurologically. And then, um, and then I can always come back and do a, a medial shoulder ligament replacement later on. So anyway, um, good view of everything. I feel more comfortable having done that than just gone in from the front and cut our biceps tendon. Since looking at the scope, we can see that that actually wouldn't have been necessary. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and end the live stream and wake the puppy up and see how we go. So thanks a lot for watching and I will talk to you soon. Beautiful. I'm going to say